This is DG Vision Network. Nigeria is faced with an unprecedented wave of different but overlapping security crises, from kidnapping to extremist insurgencies. Almost every corner of the country has been hit by violence and crime. On the part of the government, a lot has gone down, and there is this belief that these uprisings will soon be totally quelled. But stakeholders think this can be achieved by employing the use of technology. Let's see what this special report has to say on how they can achieve this. The state of insecurity in Nigeria today is no news to anyone as the level of insecurity is threatening to tear the country apart. This can be blamed on some factors that have been left unchecked for a long time by both the government and people of Nigeria. Since the early 2000s, the country has rarely experienced a breath of peace. As conflicts began in form Niger Delta agitation in 2004, with the rise of militant groups such as the Movement for the Emancipation of the Niger Delta and Niger Delta Avengers to the current escalating attacks of Boko Haram terrorists from northern Nigeria seem the order of the day. The situation at hand requires a quick, adequate and new approach to deal with the security challenges plaguing the nation. Although Nigeria has taken bold steps, to settle the insecurity issues through combat approach, there still exists several unresolved issues bordering the country's stability that can only be resolved through technology. We call for the deployment of technology in the fight against terror, banditry, and other crime. The apparent failure of intelligence to track attacks by bandits and follow up on them is a clear failure of the intelligence community. Technology, no doubt, is a fundamental tool in curbing the persistent bane of insecurity plaguing the nation. Creating a database to register all Nigerians with a mobile phone number through the National Identity Commission is one of the measures the government has put forward to checkmate insecurity. The Minister of Communication and Digital Economy, Dr. Issa Ali Pantani, has also claimed that the government has provided the necessary technology for security agencies to tackle insecurity. The security agencies are the ones supposed to leverage on the technology to do their own work. And we have been mandated to give them all the necessary support. All the support they need is available for them 100%. Since my first day in office today, we have always given them their support. Any support they require in technology to do their work, we, I have provided 100% so far. Despite these claims and efforts, many still cite lack of technology and technological know-how in the aspect of using technology as a tool in tackling insecurity in Nigeria. The thing is that there must be an appetite to use technology to, to combat uh, insecurity. It's not just a case of um, saying, can technology do it? Technology definitely can. But if you don't have an appetite for it, it's, um, it's of no use. A border system that is electronic focus more on closing the leakages in our perimeters with responsible agencies and technology. But all cannot be left in the hands of the government. Stakeholders and organizations in the tech industry are expected to play a role in aiding the fight against insecurity. The effort, we know government has been making efforts, but the effort government is making is not enough, it's not adequate. It's not sufficient for us as a nation to be able to solve our national security challenges. Nigerian Computer Society, what are we doing? Um, we have written an initial recommendation to government on what we needed to do initially to solve this security problem. And uh, in a, apart from that, we have set up a committee to look at how we can effectively use technology 
to solve our national security challenges. And the committee has submitted the report. I think I've even informed some of you before. They have submitted their report, and uh, it was just because we were planning for conference. I, we, are, we, are, we want to review the report before it is published and it is forwarded to government. Uh, that committee actually did a lot of work. They recommended solutions that can naturally assist if government is willing to adopt them. Adult technology is not a silver bullet solution to this grim and growing problem, but with accurate mapping of contiguous areas using geospatial science and technology such as satellite remote sensing, geographic information systems, and global navigation satellite systems, surveillance drones, and efficient data gathering and storage, issues of insecurity will surely be minimal. This is DG Vision Network.